Morning my friends, welcome to RTR TV. I've uh, just come back to the spot where I, um, if you remember, well, probably about a month ago now, I made um, a lean-to in, uh, in the woods. And I haven't been to it since the week before Storm Eunice, so I didn't know if it survived or not. And the answer to my question is, no it didn't. It didn't survive. But fear not, I'm going to rebuild it. <laughs> I'm going to rebuild it. I've got my camo net with me. I've also bought me a uh, uh, DD 3x3 tarp. I'm going to make some, some sort of like a, do the lean to again, but I'm going to make like a, put the tarp on, not on the lean, I'm going to put the camo net on the wood side and put the tarp on the other side make like sort of, sort of like a tent shape with it so I better get to work put this back together again look at that let's do it well I just started rebuilding it again and uh, it collapsed <laughs> so I'd rather it did it before I finished it and then when I was underneath it that's for sure it's quite a big gap it's got a it had to go across so the bit of wood that was supporting it was a bit on the obviously it was too rotten on the end it was quite a chunky bit of wood but that one going across there but on the end it snapped up that end so back to the drawing board so what I've decided to do is come back to this little crater that I had my Cajun cookout uh, a few weeks ago and what I'm going to do I'm going to set up a line across these two trees put my camo net over the top see how that works so I've got it all set up camo net I'm going to sit down on my, that stump there where I sat a while ago doing my Cajun steaks so I've had to pin it out three ways across there put a ridge line across oops sorry um, using a, there's a bowline at that end and a trucker's hitch at that end and uh, I'll just bring it come down hang on a sec tread, oop, tread carefully Still a bit on the damp side, even though it's spring now. It's a lovely spring morning. So I've got my net there, my bag's under there, and the stump is there. And I've got a nice sirloin steak, some mushrooms and tomatoes to cook up. I'm starving. Yeah, so what I've done there, <coughs> just put the, there's a bowl in that end on that knot there and going up here that's a trucker's hitch I think that's my favourite there's a trucker's hitch on that one as well I love the trucker's hitch let's go and sit underneath well, I've got to say I'm not having too much luck this morning because uh, just broke not only did me, uh, me lean to not survive Storm Eunice uh, and it collapsed again on me. Just broke this bloody tripod, this leg. One of the legs has gone on it. Not a good morning so far. DD tarp I never got to use today. I won't need that. I had good plans for that as well. Maybe next time, eh? I'm just gonna get the old bush box set up. Get the stakes going.
it's okay. I don't think the um, I don't think the flames are going to actually affect the old uh, camo net above me. At least I don't think it is anyway. Let's have a feel. No, no heat up there at all. <laughs> Might be a bit close to me. It's fire. I think spring is definitely in the air. It's not so cold today. It's quite nice, very pleasant indeed today. I think I might have too many layers on actually, thinking about it. This woods, the big K woods making lots of funny noises today. Big K kindling. I did a video on it, didn't I? It's up there. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna to have to do something about this bit of rubber on the top of this kettle. It's uh, melting. Let's try not to knock the coffee over it before I even get a taste of it. So what I've got to eat today is this lovely sirloin steak. Promises to be delish. Got some couple of really big mushrooms and some tomatoes in there. I'm just gonna fry them up. I think that's the best bit. Got the uh, the ranger wood today to cook this with. So let's get this out. Get it on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. One quite fit in there. Time to cut up some mushrooms. Chuck them in with it. Not a lot of room in this frying pan for all this, especially with the size of that steak. But mushrooms, they go down to nothing, don't they? Ooh. This is one big steak. There we go, doesn't that look good? That looks absolutely delicious to me. Oh yeah. Very nice indeed.
good camo in it, this one. It's dry grass. If you want to look at the video where I uh, resized it, reorientated it, I put the thing up. So you can have a look at that. It was way too long and way too narrow. Now it's more of a square. I think these. I'm going to actually dish up the uh, the mushrooms and the tomatoes because I think they're done. But I want to give I want to give the steak a little bit longer. I don't think this frying pan was big enough for this uh, steak. Bit of a monster. I think I'm going to have to start uh, thinking about bringing out my uh, beanie bush hat. You know, the uh, my summer hat. Wood's gone out. Not keeping an eye on the wood. Move my plate out of the way and the ash all over it. There we go. That got it. Yeah, I think that's done. Get my plate. There we go. How's that look? Let's try not to let it slide off the plate. That looks alright, doesn't it? Some mushrooms, some tomatoes, and a nice big sirloin. All for me. <laughs> I'll use the old ranger wood to cut this steak up. I think uh, it's a good all rounder. Let's try it with a bit of mushroom and a bit of tomato. <laughs> Do love a sirloin. Do love a sirloin. Sun's gone in. Very sharp knife for the old ranger wood. Ideal for cutting steaks with. <laughs> Lots of juice to mop up. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Right, I'm going to eat this. I love it. <laughs> I had a huge bit of gristle <laughs> caught in my teeth. And I don't want to, <clears throat> I'm not going to go there about getting bits of food stuck in your teeth. If you've watched my channel, Going back last year, you'll know I had an abscess. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, the bloody hurt. Absolutely killed me. And then it, that abscess coincided with me getting COVID as well. So that wasn't a good couple of weeks. But hey ho. That's life. That's life. Last bit of steak, gone. That was so good. 
apart from the grisly bit. Right. The coffee's probably stone cold now. Ugh, no, it's still warm. Mm. Irish latte. Very nice. Yep, sun's back out again. <laughs> Summer's definitely on the way. That'd be nice. <clears throat> like I say, as soon as I start changing my hat, you'll know that summer is on the way. Put me different hat on, my jungle hat. <laughs> Bush hat. This camo net's quite good because where I'm down in this crater, it actually the top of the net is probably level with the rest of the woodland. So if you're looking from a distance, and it's quite similar to co colour to the woodland at the moment, the woodland floor, floor you know, all the dead leaves. Obviously when the green leaves, when everything starts turning green, that's when you, I'll bring out the other camera net, if I bring it out, to change nets. And there's a big giant yew tree over there. Obviously you can't eat anything from a yew tree. Can't eat the leaves. Not really leaves, are they? Definitely can't eat the berries. <coughs> I do love them though. Yeah, it's definitely cooled down. Good enough. <coughs> All right, just make sure it's cool. Yeah, completely cool now. The old bush box. Still going. Alright, so that's where I was, obviously. My feet were either side of this bit of wood. But, apart from where my feet have been, there's no trace. My old uh, camo net was across here, so... Yeah. And a lovely steak it was as well. Absolutely delish. Let's go for a wander. So there's the big yew tree through the woods, through the trees, and this is the crater I was in. I don't know if you can actually you get an idea of it. But yeah, nice little crater that. Hmm. Very nice indeed. So here we are back at the lean to what's left of it. I have to think of something else to do with that when I get a bit more time on my hands. So you've got that yew tree there, there's another yew tree there. Maybe if I use one of the low branches, that'd probably be better. We'll see. We'll see what I can come up with in the future.
someone's tried building a little lean-to here sort of one where you can just one person can slip inside I was thinking about doing something like that uh, something a bit lower to the ground and something you can make uh, two sides out of again I'm gonna have a think about it see what I can do See, uh, I've seen a couple of dog walkers while I've been going through here, and uh, when they, when they, I can understand that uh, you know some women who are on their own walking their dogs in woodland, you know, when they see me coming towards them, great big six foot six bloke, you know, with a bit of a camo top on, <laughs> big backpack, they do sometimes they do look a bit apprehensive and it's understandable it's understandable so, but it's a shame they have to think like that you know because there are some unsavory characters in the world obviously oh, who don't respect people's privacy still there you go Right then, so I'm nearly back at the car and uh, yeah, I thought I'd take you on this little trip to check on the lean to, but didn't survive. Didn't survive Storm Eunice. I assume it was Storm Eunice. That was the bad one, wasn't it? Um, but like I say, I will redo something with that wood that's left over. And uh, at least I got to use the tarp. Got to put, the, not the tarp, the camo net. Cook me steak on. So uh, what I'll do is I'll see you next time when we're roving about, wherever it may be. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and want to see more. Yeah, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.